What's up everybody? This is Motor Merc coming to you from beautiful Southern California. I'm starting a challenge today. Oh no, I'm not starting it. I'm announcing that I'm going to start it. I gotta get my thoughts together. Get my, my brains organized. So there's a moto vlogger I've been following for some time. Goes by the name of Lazy Cricket, aka J Remy. And he recently posted up a video describing a challenge that he was trying to take part in called the 100 Taco Challenge. And actually I don't remember if that's what it's called, but basically it is a 100 Taco Challenge. And the basic idea is you have one month to eat 100 tacos. So he decided to upgrade this challenge and make it a challenge to eat 100 tacos before eating anything else other than tacos. So instead of a time limit, it's just he has to eat tacos until he has eaten 100 of them. And uh, I don't know what the status of that challenge is. He posted a video saying that he was thrown in the towel on the modified version of the challenge, but that he might continue on with the uh, 100 tacos in a month version, the original version of the challenge. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is relevant to my interest because I love tacos and there are tons of taco shops around where I live. So I'm going to go ahead and give this 100 taco challenge a try. I am, instead of going for the, the 100 tacos in a month version, I'm going to go for J. Remy Lazy Cricket's modified 100 tacos before you eat anything else challenge. And I was sort of thinking of putting this off until after I graduated because I thought maybe once the stress of school is out of the way it'll be easier to just uh, go out of my way and find tacos. But on the other hand, once I've graduated and I've got a full-time job, hopefully, then uh, it's going to be uh, harder to, you know, like, manage to get tacos for lunch probably if I'm busy at work and stuff like that. So I decided I'm going to take advantage of still being in school and the flexibility of my schedule to go out and do this 100 taco challenge now because I could sort of have breakfast anytime I want, have lunch anytime I want, and go anywhere I want to do it because even though I am busy with my studies, uh, I can choose to do those studies at any part of the day that I want. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this challenge starting next week. Uh, I, I usually visit my girlfriend on the weekend and the weekend is coming up right now and I know she's not going to want to eat tacos all the time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see my girlfriend over the weekend as usual and then starting next week uh, when I come back to where I normally live to go to school uh, I'm going to do the 100 taco challenge I'm going to try and bang all 100 tacos out in a row in like three days probably starting on like a Monday night, maybe a Tuesday morning, and I'm going to try to finish by Friday. So I should have 100 tacos in, in four days at the worst case scenario. So uh, tonight I'm on my way to Tacos El Cosas, and I'm going to do basically a practice run. I'm just going to order a bunch of tacos and see how it is to eat that many tacos all at once to see how realistic it's going to be for me to attempt this challenge in just three days, four at the most. And we'll see how it goes. safer uh ish okay got my first batch of tacos here my practice run for the 100 taco challenge i got 15 tacos five carne asada five al pastor and five tripas tripas and in case you don't know what these flavors are carne asada is uh, marinated beef I believe it's usually comes from a skirt steak. Delicious, probably one of my favorite meats, especially to have in Mexican food. Al Pastor is marinated pork. I believe traditionally cooked on a spit with pineapple. Delicious as well, a little bit sweet, usually very juicy, very saucy. And finally, tripas is intestines, which are fried and crispy. 
and it may sound kind of gross but what they actually taste like is uh, bacon so if you're afraid of trying new things and you want sort of like a an easy introduction to a little bit of ethnic cuisine uh, try yourself some tripas t-r-i-p-a-s tripas de bon when cooked correctly some places actually do it wrong they cook it uh, so that it's still soft when you get it uh, but I always ask when I go to a Mexican restaurant if they can make the tripas crispy and this place I just got my tacos from Tacos El Cosas uh, when I asked them if they could make it crispy they were like how else do you make it and I was like all right this is a place I can trust oh this is gonna be bumpy oh wait no it's not they just repaved it Excelente! Captured some dramatic footage of myself unwrapping all of these tacos, which clearly ended up being a whole lot more food than I predicted. As you can see, this is uh, 15 tacos only, but look at this mountain. Like, this is, this is literally bigger than my head. And it was quite a mess to open it, so I caught some video of me washing my hands. Uh, or I should say I thought I was capturing that video, but my camera was off! Nice! So anyway, I'm going to eat this pile, this mountain this Mount Everest of tacos, or at least get as far as I can through them, and we'll see. I may have to reevaluate my uh, my goal of completing 100 tacos in three days. Oh, I'm already reconsidering this taco challenge. Kind of lost my confidence after last night. Uh, you guys saw how big that mountain of tacos was. I was only actually able to finish 10 of them. 10 out of 15. So this is going to impact my expectations of whether I'm going to be able to do the uh, modified version of the taco challenge where I do nothing but eat tacos for 100 straight before I go to eating other normal food again. I'm not going to give up on the challenge, but my uh, I'm just going <laughs> to, you know, I'm just not as confident as I was before. And I think I'm only going to attack it from the 100 tacos in a month perspective because oh god like I, I ate those 10 tacos i was okay so the reason i had all this confidence in tacos in the first place that i could eat so many of them is because when i go to a taco spot and order tacos typically i order five of them and usually when i'm done with those five tacos i feel not super full i feel like i could eat another five so I ordered 15, trying, you know, thinking I could probably finish all 15 if I really wanted to. You know, it might be a challenge, but I expected to be able to do it. I was only able to finish 10! So yeah, I explained earlier why I don't think I'll be able to do the 100 in a row challenge due to my uh, schedule with upcoming work and with trying to satisfy my girlfriend's need for meals other than tacos and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to have to give up on the 100 in a row challenge, but uh, I do love tacos and I also enjoy a challenge now and again, so I am going to persist in the 100 tacos in a month challenge and we'll see how it goes. But man, that was a, that was a real eye-opener. You know, I think when I was younger I probably could have eaten all 15, but last night I just, I got to taco number 6 and I was already feeling kind of... Like, I could feel it was going to be a rough night, and uh, it ended up being a rougher morning than it was a night. Anyway, needless to say, 15 was way too much, so I had them for breakfast today, and I said, oh god. Like, it's already dinner time now, and I'm still feeling kind of gross from last night's dinner and this morning's breakfast, so... Jeez. Gee whiz. Tacos. Tacos. Tacos.